today I'm going to show you how to make two um, really weird right angle clumps to clump together stuff like picture frames and stuff like that. Um, it's really easy to make. Uh, there's no plans for them because you can make them any size you want. You can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, to start off you're going to need some angle aluminium or angle iron or whatever sort of right angle uh, stuff you've got, it could be out of some hardwood um, I'm just going to use some aluminium because I've got it since I've got a spare uh, yeah so first you're going to need a length of that now you can cut it to the desired length after you've marked it um, I mark it with something sharp, I'm going to mark it at 10 centimetres and then I'm going to use a, an engineering square to follow that line across you can actually use some woodworking tools to cut aluminium because it's quite lightweight, it's really soft. You can actually buy um, kits for a jigsaw to cut aluminium, like this. You can see there's a lot of blades in there, uh, metal, wood and ceramic. But I'm just going to cut it by hand with a hacksaw. Now I'm just going to clean the edges up with a file so I don't cut myself. Here I'm marking up the uh, other clamp to cut. find some um, M4 bolts with the uh, lock nuts so I'm going to have to use them obviously if you're going to use um, some bigger angle aluminium you should probably use bigger um, bolts but for this these will be okay before I drill them I'm going to use a countersink you can just use a regular one you could use a nail even but this is a um, automatic one so when you push it down it springs so I'm going to do that on each hole, each um, mark I've made. The dimensions for this piece is 10 centimetres long. I don't know uh, how wide. Uh, each of the holes marked are 15 mil from the end, and in the middle of the piece is very dependent on what size your piece is. Obviously, if you're going to tap the holes, which I don't really like doing in aluminium, um, but if you're going to tap the holes, you should uh, go a bit smaller, like 3.2 or something. Uh, but you should just look at the what uh, what the kit says, tap the kit says, or what um, drill size you should use for each bolt. But um, I'm just going to use a 4mm bolt, 4mm um, drill bit. So these uh, bolts will slide through that's easily. Well, that's not straight. That looks 
you can countersink them if you want with um, a uh, countersink bit. I just put mine in a, um, a screwdriver with a detachable bits. Um, I'm only going to do it, I'm not actually going to countersink them, I'm just going to do it to get rid of the burr. Up now. Okay, I've drilled the two the holes for both clamps. Um, I don't have any flat aluminium to go on the other side of this, but I do have um, this right angle stuff that I use for this. But uh, I don't really want to use that. And this is what I found instead. It's not too flimsy. It's uh, I think it's for the end of the carpet where you put the carpet down. Um, I'm not too sure, but I can definitely drill some holes in that. Uh, you could use some wood if you wanted, some hardwood, or yeah, or anything you find really to do the other parts. But you need a definitely need a right angle thing to do this. So now I'm gonna mark 10 centimeters on here. The only stuff I can find, um, and using a square take that mark on the inside. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to try and follow that as well as I can with a hacksaw. Doesn't really matter if I go slightly off. The way this is going to work is, this is um, the bit that goes inside the wood and these two parts go on the outside like that and the bolts go through them, uh, I can't really hold that at the moment but the bolts go through these bits and through there and there will be a nut on the other side or the other way around um, to pull, pull it in and the wood will be in between those two holes so I'm just gonna drill two holes in here that match these and then I'm gonna put the bolts through and see what happens I've changed my mind a bit of how I would make these so um, don't make them like this with a flimsy bit on the outside because it will just wash and it won't do much. Do it like I've done here. This is the other one I made. Um, it's because I haven't got enough of this right angle stuff. So yeah, make sure it's in the middle and then definitely have something as thick as this piece um, and that will hold up a lot more. But if it's not in the centre, it will um it won't be it won't uh be flat against the bit of wood, it might uh, tilt up a bit and dent the wood a bit more. So you want you definitely want even pressure. So if you're gonna make it make it like this. After making um this clamp I thought uh, you could actually make it out of some PVC pipe. So I did so and this is what I came up with. You put one bit of wood there another bit there and uh, you can see how that would clamp together and you can, you can sort of change the angle a tiny bit not a lot but you could a bit so yeah if you don't have any angle aluminium or anything you can make it out of that so here you go two clamps um i suggest you make it like this it's a lot better um yeah that's that video so Tune in next time for, for the video on how to make 
a pen that actually writes without um, a pen mandrel on your lathe.